everyone, I'm Mika the Shadow Beast, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Someone Stole My Lunch. We're gonna start. And there it goes. <laughs> the door opens with a jingle as I walk in. This must be management's doing again. Excuse me. They said it's too improved for our when we're too busy to head outside. But what type of cafe only has one coffee machine? Did they even provide us with any coffee photos? I'm tempted to tip over the nearby trash can, but decide against it. The janitor's on the same sinking boat as us. My only saving grace is lunchtime! Best time of the day, and today is special. And the other day, I would have gone into the big city and treated myself at a local bistro. However, a new project sprung up, and I've been focused. I've, and I've been forced to stay inside doing lunch. My very coworkers also have to live this type of life, suffering from malnutrition and gastritis. What are you guys eating? But why should I suffer alongside them? What awaits me behind these food stores? My, it's my masterpiece, my katsudan. <laughs> the night before, I flattened the plumpest pork loin, the crisps, crisps, crispest, crispiest panko and deep fried it in, in the finest oils and spices from my pantry. Deep fried to perfection and smothered in beaten egg, sweet onions, and homemade tonkatsu sauce. And the top of steaming bowl of fluffy rice. Saliva. Ugh. Gross. I'm not reading that one. Who drools that much? That's nasty. It's unfortunate I can eat it first off the stove, but at least the microwave here was more competent than the company's infrastructure. With a happy hum, I walk over to the, f I walk over to open the fridge. The shelves are emptier than this time, so I easily spot my bowl. Despite the bowl's innocent pink coloring, it's from a prestigious lunchbox brand. My food deserves the best, of course. I pick up my cute bowl, but notice something off. Sauce stains on. Sauce stains the side of the bowl lip. Did it spill on the way to work? Now that I think about it, it's much lighter than it was this morning. With trepidation, trepidation I unclipped the lid. It's fucking gone! It's gone! My thick cut of fried pork. My egg sloopy. My egg slurry of dashi and soft onions. My fluffy steamed rice. All oh, gone. Only a light brown putter and some rice grains remain. Is this the work of a thief? Well, who else would it be? The rats? Actually, rats can open uh, containers, so it might be. Wait, no, I shouldn't be doubting my coworkers. Maybe someone took my lunch by mistake. But this morning, I only saw clear Tupperware containers. How could anyone mistake my lunch for theirs? Did someone steal my lunch? My stomach gurgles painfully. Excuse me. <clears throat> it tells me that my decision to skip breakfast was a foolish one. And my phone alarm goes off. My 15 minute break is about to end. What should I do about this thief? <sighs> report to ATAR. It's the only way. The most vast no decision is to report it to human resources. I take out my phone and speed dial ATAR. Why is ATAR on speed dial? What kind of issues does this company have? It's important to have your most important contacts ready when you need them. Why do you need it on speed dial? Hello, this is Kale. Cal? Kale of Human Resources. How may I help you? Hi, I'd like to report a theft. What was stolen? My lunch. Was it doing company hours on company property? Yes and yes. Unfortunately, we cannot compensate your loss. I don't want compensation, Kale! An employee's lunch is their personal property. Yes, but isn't it worrying to have a theft on company grounds? We have cases like this very often. The company is not responsible for them. Yes, I know, but if you have anything else to report, please send an email. My lunch break is starting. Kale hangs up before I can say any more. Does that happen often? Then do something about it! Nobody likes kale! 
with nothing else I can do, I begrudgingly pour myself a lukewarm cup of coffee and return to work. The next day. Despite yesterday's incident, I still brought my lunch. I can't falter in the face of despair. After all, I made mapu tofu. How did I make it again? Oh my god. Wax! Okay, so the most harmless one is wax. With the help of many YouTube videos, I made a wax replica of Mapo Tofu. <laughs> the white tofu cubes are made from what style foam? <laughs> the red sauce is made is from acrylic and watercolor. I mixed roast and ground peppercorns into the translucent red wax and poured it into my bowl. It helps hide the smell. <laughs> With a glaze of resin and some patience, the fake wax mapu tofu was completed. I snicker imagining the poor potato attempting to scoop into the mold, only for the plastic spoon to rebound back into their face. In exchange, I'll starve. I was still waiting for my model to drive this morning, so I had no time to make myself something to eat. Five hours later, once quickly arrives and I return to retrieve my bowl from the fridge. And I couldn't keep my excitement down, despite knowing that it's fake food scene and untouched dissatisfies me. I flick open the lid and... <laughs> a scoop! No, two scoops are gone from the bowl! Like so, like jelly. This thief is beyond my comprehension. But something sparks inside me. I return to my desk to write my resignation letter. Afterwards, I went to the nearest tech store and purchased some necessities. Wax food, you wouldn't believe it. Months pass. <laughs> oh, this is neat. <sighs> Wait. Oh! I quit my job and became a wax food artist. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yep, that's me. I became a wax food artist on YouTube. I became a wax food artist YouTuber! <laughs> what can I say? After witnessing that travesty, I knew I had a talent in the wax arts. If someone can mistake my creation for real food, then why live a corporal life? <laughs> Raw talent! Kale. <laughs> okay, very bad. Okay! So... Awesome! How long? Well, let's try another one. <laughs> okay. Blah, 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 blah. We made the, uh, um... Catch done. It's flat. It's got panko and to totsu filling. Whatever. And it's empty! It's all gone and it sucks. And. <laughs> Go goes painfully, blah blah blah. And the alarm. Who only gets a 15 minute lunch break? And this is enough to quit my job. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of everything in this damn company. Something snaps inside me as I run over to the coffee machine. I lift it off. Oh wow, we're quitting, quitting. Holy shit. <laughs> I rip it off the wall and toss it to the ground. The trash can is next. The foam kick. It flips over and em empty coffee cups fly out. Finally, the stupid little bell, jingle bell. I yank it off the dome. <laughs> Those hands and name it clearly at the employee of the month frame on the wall. My breath is haggard, and my back is covered in sweat. So, so this sedentary office workers can only do so much. I stomp to my cubicle and hastily write up my two weeks notice to HR. Though, who can even say I'll be here tomorrow? Once I'm at the front door, I'm never coming back. Number two, boiling point. <laughs> Very bad. Okay. 
So we're gonna do all this again! Hey, what's this do? Skip. Hey! Nice. Give up. I can only give up. <laughs> Whoever it is, how would I even find them? Filling a paper cup with stale, cold coffee, I go back to my cubicle in defeat. The next day. My lunch got stolen again! I'm suffering from hunger pains. <laughs> but perhaps whoever stole it needed it more than I did. They're probably more happy to eat than I am sad to be hungry. With my sacrifice, the total number of satisfied workers in the company increased. So, let it be. Enlightened, I continued to make decent meals and leave them out in the open. Every single one of them was eaten, and I went home hungry. Management rewarded us with coffee photos that week. Maybe I did make a difference in this company. <laughs> Acceptance. <laughs> Very bad. Okay, that was fun. Okay, so now um, we made a wax replica. We're skipping this shit again. Can we put it to Ator? <laughs> and poison! Ah, yes, how could I forget? I was trying to trap a rat. I take out my bowl and sprinkle a bit of grey powder on the surface. Snapping the lid back on, I tuck my pink bowl in the back of the fridge. Soon that thieving rat will get his just desserts. I exit the break room with a cold smile. It'll all be according to plan. Right after I finished my work for the day, a guard apprehended me at my cubicle. I mean, what do we expect, really? There was a Hidden security camera. I went to jail! <laughs> a week has passed since I started my new life in my cell. <laughs> because of the damning video evidence of my accents, I was judged with first degree murder. Sitting on my low quality spring bed, my face sinks into my palms. It's about to be lunchtime. The guard bangs on the bars and lets me out. I scurry out. With my famous stomach reaching out for my meager serving of dry, hard bread and bland, watery soup. Unfortunately, I'm too late. My cellmate slaps my hand and takes my shell from my plate. My lunch has been stolen again! I return to my cell and sit in hunger. Inmate, there's some good news. Yes? The victim you poisoned survived. What victim? The food thief? Don't say any more, inmate. You're walking on eggshells. Of course. Of course. I hold my head towards the somber moonlight, contemplating a life not behind bars. I've learned my lesson. Don't try to poison your co worker. <laughs> For disaster. Oh my god. Oh, that might be my favorite one. Jesus. Okay. So we're gonna skip again. Potato. Skip again. The peppercorns. Ah yes, the spice of my life. How could I forget the nose-numbing smell of roasted Sichuan peppercorns? The thick red oil of the bean paste. The foam bouncy texture of the chopped tofu. With an internal heat so good it transcends the taste buds. Mapu tofu. Eating plain rice is great, but it can't can't beat the spicy fragrance of chili oil and peppercorns. But this one is different. I've spiked up the heat, adding twice the amount of ground peppercorn and chili. A spice too powerful for the mortal tongue. Right before I kiss my baby goodbye, I sprinkle on some more pepper. If anyone tells. Open my bowl, a red powdery explosion awaits them. Five hours later. Lunchtime away arrives and I rush to the break room. Perhaps today will be different. I take out my bowl. The lightning the lightness of the silicone bowl bowl is foreboding. It's all gone again! It's empty! But how? Why? 
Who is this food crazed glutton? Wait, if someone ate my super spicy Sichuan Mapu tofu, then their lips should be bright red right now! Within the remaining minutes of my break, I look far and wide for the mysterious red lipped capo, but to no avail. Av avail. My pepper kissed burglar was nowhere to be found. There are too many employees in this company. Wearing lipstick! I gave up finding those hot lips and went home. Luckily, the stents of pepper clung to my suit and people avoided me on the subway during the last hour. <laughs> the next day. I am just going to save it. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade! On my way home, I caught a supermarket sale. <laughs> That's why I was going to to make fist head curry for lunch! A big steamed fish head simmered in a thick milky curry sauce. Sliced tomatoes, okra, and eggplants float around. That looks disgusting. Succulent bouncy fish cheek with a big sticky eye drenched in tangy curry sauce. That sounds disgusting. A vibrant comfy dish to ease the stress of this week. Really week. Of this really weak butt. Well, let's survive until my break. That thief is still out there. It's still out on the loose, ready to pounce. I need to protect my meal. This is my last day and my last course of action. What should I do? Okay, we're gonna start at the bottom. Fridge note. I shouldn't blow this out for person. I am a working adult, after all. It's just an airplane, Neptune. From my pocket, I take out my expensive fountain pen that I splurged my bonus on. A pen? By happenstance, the company likes to supply us with copy paper in the break room. They think if we see it, we'll be compelled to continue working during our break. None of my co-workers are that gullible, but the amount of paper does decrease throughout the week. I take it advantage of the company's quirks and take a clean paper from the pile. Let's leave a note to my to my dear thief of mine. To please I will to the person who keeps stealing my lunch. Please have mercy on me. I will starve. <laughs> oh I like that. After the note is done, I secure it with magnets. And now we wait. I hope my lens doesn't get stolen. It was ta- That bastard. I take the paper and they are to sledge with my teeth. <laughs> my saliva wets the dry paper as it grazes my tongue. Wow, tasty! <laughs> the next day. It's been four days. I'm in the break room holding today's lunch. This time he'll be different. I will succeed. <coughs> These thefts will stop. You will survive, my lunch. You will be in my stomach today. I swear it on my health insurance. I kiss it a temporary farewell as I walk out of the room. A lone figure walks into the break room. Instead of grabbing coffee, he reaches out towards the fridge. <coughs> it's an unusual time to have lunch as many employees are currently preoccupied. He reaches past the clear Tupperware, singling out a single bowl. A pink silicone bowl. He stands by the counter, obscuring his accents with his back. The bowl lid comes off with a click. Hmm? This is new. What's new? The figure sort of jolt up, but then he relaxes as he turns around. Nothing. So there were new coffee filters. But management repurposed the coffee paper. Right. Who are you? Me? I'm not... He's the employee of the month. Me? I'm really not that important. By the way, don't we start with you, buddy? Well... I smile at... I hear my seat turns away, ignoring me. We just stand there for a few minutes. 
Don't you have oak? How's that coffee? Why would I drink this place's coffee? Don't tell me you drink it, that slimy brown water. It's not that bad. It sucks. You sound like you hate yourself. Three days I've been starved because of you. I Three days! Actually, what did you do these past few days? What else would I be doing? It's a work week. You come to the break room often, at this exact time every day. Of course I have to eat. Eat? Well, yeah, don't you? Ah, yes. I would if I could. Speaking of which, I'm gonna eat. Mind leaving? Wow, me too. I'm skipping precious work time to have my lunch early. Why don't we eat together? That's an awful idea. That hurts. We're all co-workers, aren't we? I like being alone. Sales provide made me with enough problems. Well, I'm hungry. You'll just have to suffer. Wait outside, I'll be done quick. Is this your private bathroom? Certainly would be nice. Are you hiding something? Selling trade secrets to a rival company? I wish. Doing something illegal? You should ask the company that. They've broken several labor laws already. Maybe you're the fisky type. I point behind him. Stealing, perhaps? I made my move. With a sidestep, I maneuver around the man. But he swiftly blocks my view, left and right. Why are you stopping me? Feeling guilty? Guilt for what? My right to a meal? The stats on speed outmatched me. I couldn't keep up. My poor office worker's heart can only pump so much oxygen. Haha, <laughs> must be nice being tall. You must be eating good. Real good. Of course, I only dine on the finest. Fess up, you thieving rat. Me? A rat? You stole my lunch! I just met you! Well, I caught you red-handed. Hand, hands up and away from the counter. Hmm. Eh. You're talking out your ass. You don't have proof it's me. Several thousands of employees come here every day. The company doesn't care about you or me. Leave! Beep. Well, well, Mr. Employee of the Month. Do you think our conversation wasn't recorded? What? Well, I wonder what tales I can unleash with these sound bites. <laughs> How did you know? Do you take me for a fool? The company plasters your face on the walls. It's right over there! <laughs> All you did was tie up your hair. <laughs> did you make this meal? I did. Why do you keep stealing my lunch? Heh. <laughs> Why? Your food is the best out of everyone else's I stole. And so I invited Mr. Employee of the Month to dinner. <laughs> On that day, I offered him half of my katsu sandwich for a price. Don't touch my food. Why should I listen? I'll cook for you. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. <laughs> but you'll need to pay for my groceries, foo foo foo. <laughs> Fine. We continue discussing our contract over dinner, his treat. He chose a fancy French bustle nearby. I chose the dime, 5pm tomorrow night. Was this a date? No, it was a lifetime contract. It was a date. Date night. Under a warm candlelight, Bo sits across from me. His long, silky hair let loose. An open front window frames his figure like a painting. If only he would shut up. Kay was a dick. Glad we agree. He wouldn't free up my schedule, so I just scavenge for food during my eight minute breaks. The past hour, I've been listening to him vent about management. His voice is husky, hints of deep big city tone mixed in with some of that wild wilderness vibrato. I could listen to him speak all night, but the waiter is waiting. So, are you ordering soon? Right. Food. What do you recommend, Bo? Anything that tastes good. Like meat. Do you eat vegetables? If it tastes good. Okay, steak for the meathead. I'll get the ratatouille. But that's all vegetables. Shut up, meathead. No of red wine with that too. At least you know how to pair wine with steak. How cooked would you like your steak so? Ooh, well done. Make it medium whale. Okay, chief. The radio quickly bolts away. 
It's just me and him now. So how long have you been stealing? A couple of times? It's only food. Stealing. Yeah, yeah, it was me stealing food from the fridge. Do you need help? Should we split tonight's bill? No, I have enough money, just no work-life balance. So it's all work, no life? I did have a life until I got hired by this company. It wasn't like this in my other job. I used to work at an eatery, always ate first. And why did you stay with us? You seem capable, going by your employee of the month record. I was at my limit, to be frank with you. But one day, I met you, me, your lunch. Fudge. I've never felt such warmth from a lunchbox before, even though it was straight from the fridge. Oh, I ate well, ham, cheese sandwiches, and cream cheese pa bagels. Depressing, I know. Ham and cheese cream bagels are good! Why didn't you order your own? Stop being a leech. But you told me I could leech, leech off of you now. For a price. My wallet is your wallet. He says it so casually. Next thing I know, he leans over to my side of the table. By the way, you're really good with your hands. What? It looks like he's about to grab my hand, but he avoids me. He picks up a napkin holder from my side and brings it back with him. How often do you pound meat? That fried pork sandwich from yesterday was delectable. Are you messing with me? No, I'm serious. Can I go to your place after this? For what reason? To inspect your goods. Aren't you going too fast? I want to see what's in your fridge. My fridge. Aren't I paying for your groceries? Wait, of course. Take out my phone to distract myself from the shame. Scrolling through my chat apps, I realized something crucial. I forgot. Bo, what's your contact info? Oh, it's... I also haven't gotten your full name. What's Bo so for? My full name? He hesitates, dragging on the silence. I gaze back with big, watery eyes, a skill I learned from dealing with the higher-ups. He finally gives in and sighs. Don't laugh, okay? My parents had a friend's phase. <laughs> I'm not actually European. I won't laugh. I don't need it if we're going to work together from now on. There's a knock on our door. The waiter rolls in a trolley holding our meals. The waiter sets down a meal, but finally speaks. Well, it's... Bone apple tea. What? <laughs> no way! Oh, I got an excellent! Nice! Okay. Thank you for playing. What? Ah, okay. So we're gonna come back here. And we're gonna skip. And we're going to have lunch at the cubicle. Um, okay. I used to keep my lunch with me. The closer, the better. Sitting comfortably in my swivel chair, I type away at my Excel seats. My pink bowl keeps me company, so my nerves are relaxed. Nearby, some workers are gabbing away. So how's your tome end report coming along? Never mind that. Did you see who's employee of the month again? Who? The, the new hire, that French dude. French from abroad? Who knows, but he's been snagging employee of the month ever since he started last year. <laughs> I've been trying for this month, but I lost. Man, give up. You can't beat him. You went on vacation to play the new elf ring last week, remember? Oh, you're right. They finally finish talking and leave the area. I can finally eat in peace. Shifting away from my keyboard, replacing it with my bowl, I flip open the lid. An explosion of spice enters my nostril. What's that smell? Someone's eating in the cubicles again. It'll be like that sometimes. We sympathize with each other silently. It's the first time I've been able to eat a meal during lunch. The tangy aroma wakes me up and stirs my stomach. I take out my spoon and dig in. I dig in. It's not my stomach growling anymore. I turn my head and spawn an unfamiliar figure passing by. He's a raggedly handsome man. He looks at my bowl, glimpsing. You stink! <laughs> I take that back. He's insufferable. 
Wait, it doesn't smell too bad, but it's distracting everyone else. Why don't you put it in the fridge? Before I can swale back, even swale back, he walks away. Stinky? Rather than my curry, it smelled like he hadn't left the company in a week. I scrunched my nose up, remembering his sour strengths. His smell left an impression that I couldn't even enjoy my long-awaited meal peacefully. That man, that menace, he seems familiar. I can't put my finger on who he reminds me of. Speaking of which, I should spray some air freshener later. Stinky. <laughs> okay, well I got my lungs at least. Okay, load again. And skip. Okay, mass email. I need to confront my problems head on in a civil manner. If they all won't help me, who can? I'm my own best ally. My plans? I need to direct my complaints where they can be heard loud and clear. Let's write an email. It'll be compelling and persuasive essay about the wrongs I faced this week using the hamburger method they taught me in high school. Hope. Okay. Yo. I wish. If I hope this email finds you useful, once fee thief, you're a waste of a human being. I was a bitch and shit on your, fa your new fancy suit. If I ever meet you, I'm going to. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Bad. Uh oh. Well, that went well. Uh oh. I hit send and await a response. If the Pope felt any guilt, they would reply. Right. My phone buzzes on my desk. It's my mantle. Hello, Joe. Is something the matter? You're fired. Why? Was it necessary to CC everyone? Of course! Why shouldn't I? Well, emailing... Was emailing our entire board of directors necessary? It caused our stocks to drop by 5%. How are you going to compensate for that? I thought the, comp the company doesn't compensate for losses. <laughs> so, did you guys hear from the food thief yet? She ends the call. I noticed that I've been blocked and my work email has been deleted. Think you can fire me with that severance pay, gelato? <laughs> I ripped the PC towel from my book desk and went out of the building. If the company won't compensate me, then this shall be my compensation. An eye for an eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was someone stole my lunch. Um, it is up on Ichiro. I will leave a link in the description um if you guys want to check it out if i remember to leave a link in the description um if not it will be tagged i mean you can see it right here it's on H O. um and i will see you all in the next video if you want to leave a comment and like go right on ahead um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and good night